We need someone to find the bomb without being detected, but it can't be any of you. We need someone invisible. I'll do it. Uh, okay. Thanks, lunch lady. I'm serious. I can do this. It seems that you two get on very, very well. Did you know each other before not the movie? No, I don't know. But so you were a fan, I understand. Fast. No, I was not a fan. <laughs> I've never liked this woman and her work. And it's the, the feeling stayed the same, has yeah. it? No, I, I would say the feeling has grown. <laughs> it's yeah. deep. There's a deep it, divide. It started as a dislike, and mm. now I think it's an actual, it's a rivalry. Yeah, and a, and a hatred. <laughs> and a hatred. We're giving you a new identity. You will no longer be Susan Cooper. You're Penny Morgan, divorced housewife from Iowa. A confidence builder. I understand Paul Feig used to come in, the director used to come in with post-it notes to get you to add lib. Yes, yeah. that is correct. He comes in, he, it's, like, it's like a little creature that comes in with, he has post-its, sometimes 10 or 12, and he just goes, what do you like? What do you finger. like? And you just pick off the ones you like. So, because you didn't like each other, obviously, it must yeah. have been quite yes. difficult to improvise in those circumstances. Yes. I just made him give her really bad lines. Uh, all the bad and took all the good ones myself. Did you realise this was happening? I had earplugs in. Because I said. I was appears, a CGI. It appears. I'm going to ask you one serious question. Yes. If, I get on. One, if I get Come one, on. it, if no. I get one, it. Stop mucking about. I'm sorry. Come on, this is I'm not sorry. a funny this business. Is British this is television. Serious. I know. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. So, um, what was it like getting on top of 50 Cent? Well, <laughs> it was, uh, can I say, a great, great, <laughs> a serious question. Yeah. It was a career peak. <laughs> and things will be downhill from now on. I but, believe you were supposed to be a stunt woman, and then someone said no. said, no, no, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ground. You, you did Comedically, it was the right thing to do. I did hurt myself. I was covered in bruises. Yeah. Over four days, I had to regularly lie upon Mr. 50 Cent Piece. And is that what you called him, Mr. 50 Cent Piece? Uh, well, well, I ended up calling him Curtis, his real name, because we are now engaged. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thanks, um, news. Melissa. News, I'm so pleased you told us <clears throat> on breakfast. And Melissa, talking of stunts, I mean, I don't. I, I've seen the film, loved it, but obviously yours was slightly more choreographed than Miranda throwing herself at Mr. Fifty Cent piece. Uh, well, uh, there, yeah, there, there was a, there was a few that we really had. To, it's the first time I've actually had to like really, really learn a stunt that was that complicated. Did you injure yourself while you were doing it? I did, I did. I think we both kind of, I, I think when you're doing something like that, it's it's a little inevitable to not get banged up. It's like you're, everybody's moving fast. I mean, with everything, even like tackling somebody, you, you really did. She was covered in bruises. It's weirdly kind of the fun of it. I think you either like it or, or you don't like it. I psychotically found it really challenging and exciting to, to see how far I could push myself. You really think you're ready for the field? to talk just me and talk about Susan and Nancy and think help will we get on with each other etc and we, <laughs> I was limping because I'd done my ankle tackling 50 cent and you'd done your back ending that's no, it you we fell were... walking when you first got to Budapest I wasn't going to tell anyone that <laughs> you have to tell us now <laughs> I'm sorry. I it. oh my god I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what happened. On the first day, <laughs> I was walking around Budapest and I went over on my ankle and someone walked past. I first walked past and went, oh, embarrassing, she's done a Miranda. <laughs> but we were equal because you did that and then I had, I was walking, because I was so sore from doing stunts, I was going to get a massage and I f literally fell on, took a violent fall on my way to a massage and threw out my back so terribly that I could barely walk. And we went to meet Paul oh, yes, feed for dinner. Paul. And here come the two of us. He's like, oh, great. I can't wait to see my two actresses together. And we both came in like, oh, God. Oh. Oh. And then we both got up in the middle of dinner and said, we're in so much pain. We have to leave. And Paul just looked Very well. pale. We it thought was... it was really late, and it was 8.40. <laughs> When I quit teaching and joined the CIA, I thought I was going to be this amazing spy, and I'm still just the same boring person I was. You play it too safe. I just hear my mom's voice. Just blend in, let somebody else win. Making a wave isn't always brave. Brilliant. Give up on your dreams, Susan.
just to write that in my lunchbox. One of the things that struck me about the film was the strength of female characters. I mean, I, I always think there, there needs to be, I, I just think for the, for the audience, for myself as a moviegoer, I want to see more variety. Mm. I want to see more real women because it's, I, it's more fun to watch a flawed real woman. It's a real woman. It's, it's not as interesting to watch someone when you've taken away all the real personality traits. If there's no quirks, ticks, flaws, then you're, you're kind of just watching, you know, it's almost like watching a still photograph. And when you hear so much talk about how women look, whether they wear flat shoes to film festivals, that was brought up at Cannes. Oh, oh insane. insane. Oh, my insane. Oh, <gasps> insane. Can I be an actress and not an actress six foot one Amazonian? That's my thing. Can I be an actress who hasn't put on weight, lost weight? Can I just be an actress? That's my it's thing. It's really Simple insane as. To, to put such bizarre restrictions. I mean, and it's like, it's what a, what a terrible thing to teach, like, young girls that... Well, you're a mum of young girls. <clears throat> I girls. have two daughters, and I hope to God that someone someday doesn't say they're not a woman because they're not in a heel. I'm assuming I'm right in saying that you were a fan of Call the Midwife. Yes, like oh. a cuckoo fan. <laughs> a cuckoo fan. Yes. Crazy fan, you mean? Yes, crazy fan that, like, cried, cried while watching it and was heartbroken. I can when see, I this watched. is true. Yeah, it's, right. it was pretty uncomfortable for a while. There was obsession. And we talked a lot on set. There, were, there was a group of us that were all uh, somewhat nuts for Call the Midwife, and we had many a discussion about if we, can only <laughs> if we could only save one person, would we save Miranda or would we save Chummy? <laughs> but not as, as in the real-life actual me. What was you versus Or Chummy. Chummy. Well, who won? I, well, I'm chummy still on the won, fence. On one, one person but chummy. <laughs> one person but chummy. Still on the fence, I, I find, Ruth. I can't choose because I also can't let chummy go. I think you're great, Chummy's too. Chummy's not real. Cheers to me. You're both delightful. Yeah. I really enjoyed the film. Thank you, Miranda.